Hey guys, this is Nick with TC Guys. I've got my assistant here. We're gonna open up another box for you. Today we have... Kablam! <laughs> Today we have a Core 2020 Collector Bundle. Comes with 10 boosters. There's the back for you. So we're gonna quickly go through all the lands and everything like that. Uh, it, it, there, every box comes with the same. It comes with a nice card box if you need storage. Uh, D20 for a health counter. And like I said, it comes with 10 booster packs as well. So let's crack it open here. I made a little tear so you don't have to sit here and watch me do it. Even though I'm still struggling with it. Okay. So, oh, that's really nice. You can see behind there, I have a couple Theros. And that's what the M20 looks like. I'm just gonna throw these off to the side. There's your little card box. Doesn't hold too many cards. I'd recommend buying some better ones if you can, but if you only have a few cards, that's a nice little deck box or something. Okay, so let's open this up. We have our 10 booster packs. Have some, let's see if we have any codes here. We have a discover more magic. Uh, it's just kind of some game types. And of course, these cards come nice and bent for us. You can see right there. Oh yeah, beautiful. But the ones in the pack should be okay, I hope. And also, oh, that's a nice one too. The spin down die. Very nice. And it's got an M20 for the 20 on top. Very nice. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have a Chandra's Regulator. I think I have a couple of these already. Non I don't have a foil one. Oh, wow, those are really bent in this one. That is crazy. So here's all of our, uh, of course, it's all the foils that are really bent. I can actually feel the bend. Uh, yeah, so those are our foil lands. Comes with 20. So that would be, I'm gonna have to straighten those out somehow. Let's place them. And then we have, I think, just some regular lands here, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if we can get them open. Okay. Throw that off to the side. Looks like we get one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Looks like four of each of these as well. And those aren't bent as bad, so that's pretty good. Okay, now on to the the juicy bits. We have 10 M20 booster boxes here. Let's see if we can pull maybe a Cavalier or something. I'm looking for a Cavalier of Gales or a Cavalier of Thorns. I might have said booster boxes there, so let's get into these. Okay, so first we have a Mind Rot. We have a Moorland Inquisitor, Barrel Abomination, Blood Burglar, Reckless Airstrike. Let's bring these a little closer here. Convolute, Griffin Sentinel, Fortress Crab, Centaur Courser. On the Uncommons, we have a Corpse Knight, Bloodthirsty Aerialist. Yorox Wave Crasher, and ooh, very nice. Nice. I love this card, actually. 12 plus one plus one counters. So we're gonna sleeve that bad boy. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, nice, we got a Foil Bloodfell Caves. Very nice. So a mountain and then a demon token. So we'll set those off to the side, make a little bit tighter pile here. Then we're gonna pop our Gargos in a sleeve here. Okay, first pack, not so bad. It's not the most expensive card, but 
I like it nonetheless. And like I said earlier, we're going to go for Cavaliers in this one, hopefully. And leave in the comments below, what is your favorite Cavalier from the M20 set? Mine, like I said, Cavalier of Gales, Cavalier of Thorns. Those are my two favorites. They're all pretty cool, though. Fire Elemental, Bone to Ash, Scorching Vulture, a Scorch Spitter, buddy of mine's building a Calamity deck with a couple of those in it. Brightwood Tracker, Dagger Sail Aeronaut, Dwarf's Lockbox, and then the Uncommons we have, Loaming Shaman, Uncaged Fury, Loxodon Enchanter. I think I missed an uncommon there. Sorry about that. Oh, Life Chanter. Very cool. Not a very expensive card, but we'll take it. Set our commons and an island and a wolf for the land and token. I am terrible with pronouncing card names. Okay, Feral Invocation. Oh, we got an upside down card, interesting. Daybreak Chaplain, Soul Salvage, that's a cool looking card. Raise the Alarm, Octo Prophet, Infuriate, Pacifism, hate that card on Arena. Growth Cycle, Pack Mastiff, Negate. And then we have the Uncommons, God's Willing, Gauntlets of Light, Pulse of Marasa. Huh, I don't think I have one of those. And Legion's End. Very cool. Let's get a nice little shot of that. Very cool. Not a valuable card again, but that's okay. So we have Blossomy Sands. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think the... Uh, these 10 pack deck builder toolkits are actually worth it or do you think they're a ripoff i guess you could say that about even a booster box if you don't get the pulls you want then it's a ripoff but sometimes i think i've gotten a few mythics from these 10 pack bundles so we'll see Moorland Inquisitor, Feral Abomination, Blood Burglar, another Daybreak Chaplain, Gorging Vulture, Brightwood Tracker, and Goblin Bird Grabber, Winged Words, another Scorch Spitter, Frost Lynx, and the Uncommons, Scuttlemutt. Master Splicer, Scampering Scorcher, and oh, a bag of holding. Nice. Get that one in there. I like that card as well. I like a lot of the cards from M20. I'm pretty new to collecting magic cards, but I have to say the art on these things is just beautiful. A lot of really cool looking cards. And of course, just a reminder, all the prices that we put in this video, if there are any, are in Canadian dollars. And we use a couple different websites and take the average of that to get our prices. So Soul Mender, Natural End, Dagger Sail Aeronaut, Bone to Ash, Griffin Sentinel, and Prismite, Growth Cycle, the Uncommons, we have Diamond Knight, Might of the Masses, Spectral Sailor, and, ooh, Voracious Hydra. That's another card I really like. I'm just going to sleeve it because I like it. Don't know how much it's worth. I don't think too much, but we'll pop that in the sleeve in just a sec. Oh, we have a foil here. It is a Griffin Protector. Very cool. 
Elementals. So we'll set that up there. And an Elemental. Set that over there. Pop this guy in a sleeve. I like the Hydras. If I'm being perfectly honest, we'll put him next to Gargos. Okay. Next up. Looks like we have five packs left, including this one. Feral Invocation. Soul Salvage. I'm going to start putting some cards in a new pile. Raise the Alarm. Anticipate. Chandra's Embercat. Sage's Row Denizen. Ripscale Predator. Fortress Crab. Centaur Courser. Fire Elemental. Eurox Fenlurker. Now we're into the Uncommons, which that one just was. Colossus Hammer. Unchained Berserker. And the Rare. Mystic Forge. Cool. It's a fun little card. And we'll pop that in the rare pile. Then we got a Dismal Blackwater and an Ashani's Pride Mate for our land and token. Okay, next pack we have Tighten those up a little bit. Unholy Indenture. Inspiring Captain. Bone Splinters. Oh, Audacious Thief. Cloudkin Seer. Wolfkin Bond. Infuriate. Silverback Shaman. Uh, Reduced to Ashes. Fairy Miscreant. I'm building a deck with those, so I'm glad I pulled couple. Fencing Ace for the first uncommon. Scholar of the Ages. Thrashing Brontodon and Brought Back. No Mythic yet, but hopefully we have one waiting for us later on. Then a Forest and a Soldier. Brought Back. I can't remember if that's a valuable card or not. We'll have to we're going to check all the prices after the, the video and just see what's what. So far, no Cavalier as well. So we have Steadfast Sentry. We have Man Man Maniacal Rage. I thought I was going to say the Manticore. A Sanitarium Skeleton. Angelic Gift. Agonizing Siphon. Vial of Dragonfire. Mammoth Spider, Pack Mastiff, Negate, and the Uncommons are Disfigure, Apostle of Purifying Light. Oh, that's a really cool looking card. Wow. Don't think I have one of those either. Uncaged Fury and Icon of Ancestry for our rare. Uh, I think we got a foil as well. Yeah, Leyline of Combustion. Ooh, a nice rare foil there. Ah, that one might be worth something. So we're going to throw it in a sleeve just in case. And a wolf token. Leyline of Combustion. If Leyline of Combustion is in your opening hand, you may begin the game with it on the battlefield. Ah, yes. I remember the Leyline cards. Okay. Very neat. Ah, two packs left. No Mythic yet, but we did get a Foil Rare, which is always nice. And let's toss that to the side. Healer of the Glade. Epicure of Blood. Yoked Ox. Squad Captain. Plummet. Boneclad Necromancer, Vorst Claw, Chandra's Outrage, Sleep Paralysis, Greenwood Sentinel, and the Uncommons, Retributive Wand, Overcome, Yarox Wavecrasher, and Bishop of Wings. Very cool. Very cool 
card there. And then we got a Thornwood Falls and a Demon for our land token. Okay, and final pack here. Still no Mythics unless I just missed it, but uh, if I can actually get it open, that would be nice. Do these have the nice little pull tabs on them? No. This is it the old fashioned way. Okay, last pack, guys. Let's see what we get. Duress, Aerial Assault, Act of Treason, Frilled Sea Serpent, Sedge Scorpion, Lavakin Brawler, Unsummon, Netcaster Spider, Giant Spider, Goblin Smuggler, Angel of Vitality for the first uncommon. Blood Soaked Altar. Veil of Summer. And. Oh, nice. Dracuseth. Maw of Flames. That's a nice card, too. Um, not sure how much he's worth. Might be worth a couple bucks. So we'll throw him in the sleeve in just a sec here. So we got a forest. Oh, a Gorging Vulture, another foil. Wow, no Mythics, eh? That's unfortunate. And a Wolf, and then that does it. We'll do a quick recap of what we pulled, which actually, you know what? This was one of the worst of these 10 booster pack boxes I have seen. So we got a Dracuseth. Which is fairly nice looking anyways. Gargos. We got a Voracious Hydra. Very cool. And one foil rare ley line of combustion. Okay. And then you can see over here we got a nice stack of cards. Those are mostly uncommons, commons. Got a couple more foils here. Uh, some of the cards are a little bent. But Griffin Protector, Gorging Vulture. Okay, and then we also got 20 lands non-foil, 20 lands in a foil, and a Chandra's Regulator. That's a very cool. I like the artwork on it. I just wish they weren't bent so much. If it was me, I probably wouldn't recommend buying the 10-pack booster boxes unless you're new to Magic, uh, but we open them here so you don't have to. And unfortunately, we didn't pull a Mythic, but we'll see you guys in another video in a few days. And I think we're going to be opening some Pokemon Sword and Shield boosters. Uh, we're going to open up the second half of the box we opened a couple days ago. So thanks guys for watching. Hit that like button if you liked. If you didn't like it, let us know what we can do better. And we'll see you next time.